Is there a more interminable <laughs> wait than the wait to sign your financial life away? Hey, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> Seems like we were just here, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> Can we stay longer? Probably not. We didn't bring it close. They have stores. Uh, that's true. <laughs> we're back in Florida. Unexpectedly. Um, uh, if you've been following along in the little bit less than a year that we've been doing this, you, you've come to know the Aluminum Falcon, of course. We've also come to know Rex. Our beloved tow vehicle. Well, Rex is still a member of the family. Yes. Uh, we are not in Rex at the moment. Uh, you have not had much of a chance to meet what we, who we call Earl. Uh, <laughs> Earl is my pickup truck. It's a Nissan Frontier. It's what I use to drive back and forth to work every day. Um, Rex has always been what we call the, the Playmobil, the date mobile. The, that was always our dating car and right. road tripping car and well, SUV not car. But anyway, it, it happens to be what we had that could tow so that's what we've been towing with so that's what you guys are most familiar about uh well the internet's a wonderful thing and mindless browsing can sometimes lead to trouble uh, i was doing a little bit of <laughs> well uh, internet window shopping uh last week and stumbled across uh, a used vehicle and one question led to a conversation, led to some numbers getting thrown around, led to a big surprise. And here we are in Jacksonville, Florida to pick up, well, hopefully, a new tow vehicle. We'll show you. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I do too. So the original owner must have just been like driving this thing to church or something. I mean, <laughs> he babied it too. Like, oh, she'll she'll like that. <laughs> yeah, you got your actually right there. She'll love that. Other than fried legs in the summertime. Right, That's... right. And it, it rolls back up so you don't lose any truck space because it rolls up into a roll. Yay. <laughs> oh, and it's got the strap so you can pull it back. That's great. Yes, that will definitely come in handy. I've got one on my truck and I use it, you know, because it's waterproof. And so... Right. I don't remember my Tundra being quite this big. <laughs> that was 10 years ago. Well, and it didn't have four doors. It had just the extended... And this one's the longer bed on it, too. Yeah, oh, okay. So it's it's a foot bigger than a standard bed. Gotcha. <laughs> it's it's going to have uh, all electric seats if you need to go. Oh, okay. That's why. Mm-hmm. I thought it was 17,000 miles on it. This thing says 12. Wow. Wow. Which is even better, but I mean... <laughs> yeah. Well, shoot. Let's take it for a ride. Let's do it. I'll jump in the back. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Backup camera. Ooh. The color's not that much different than oh, I the Xterra. Yeah, I was not seriously shopping when I stumbled across this thing. I was just kind of browsing, piddling away time. 
Yes, sir. I guess. I think it was meant to be. It turned out like a nice truck. Seems like it's got what you need in it. Yeah, I think, I think the only thing I would not, if I was building it myself, I might not would put this much chrome on it. There's a lot but, of chrome. But uh, I can live with it. V8. 5.7. Okay. Big V8. Bigger V8. Yeah. Might be a little worse on gas than your front tier. <laughs> well, this won't be the everyday no. the gotcha. daily driver. This will be the pull of the camper and okay. maybe the occasional date night or something. But there you go. My Xterra will become the, the daily driver. The daily driver. Now. Yeah. All right, got to get all the gear transferred because we got a new ride. Take a look at the new ride there. How you like them apples? <laughs> 2015 Toyota Tundra, 5.7 liter V8. I bet this thing won't even breathe hard. I'm pulling Falcon. Better not anyway. for all this stuff. <laughs> I'm definitely getting a cover for this thing. If he's going to be sitting in the driveway out exposed, I am not having these leather seats dry up, crack like parchment paper. We'll be investing in a vehicle cover. Definitely. That'll probably be the, the next accessory purchase. And here it is. <laughs> Tentatively named Earl the Third, until we get a better idea, but <laughs> cars always name themselves. If you listen closely and listen long enough, eventually a new vehicle will tell you what its name is. So sooner or later, big boy here will tell us what his name is. There you go. But until I hear it, I guess I'm just going to call him Earl the Third until I... And big up. boy he is. Big red. <sighs> <laughs> I, have, I have never driven anything this big. And, and again, you full-timers, you big riggers out there, you're laughing at me. I know I'm a big wuss, but I'm telling you, I, we were talking about this as we were leaving the dealership. I had a van once when I was in college. I think that van was a V8, but I can't even swear to that. But if that was not a V8, then this is the first V8 I've ever even driven, much less owned. Yeah. I think there was a rental. We just, there was a rental car one time that I think was a V8. So, but still, yeah. with any kind of regularity, this might be the first V8. Might be the first V8 I've ever had. And believe me, buddy, it's gonna be a learning curve on this thing. <laughs> it was for me, and when I had my, I had a Tundra. Uh, went from a Camry to a Tundra. That was a learning curve. <laughs> but I don't think we're ever gonna have to worry about. Uh, any tow vehicle we have struggling with the aluminum falcon ever again because no. i don't i don't think this thing is going to even notice the falcon is no. back there uh this thing rates it right at ten thousand pounds towing i mean and, uh, you know, hell the falcon fully loaded is even half of that so i well, of course we'll have to get this thing configured i'll have to make sure the hitch is aligned and all that kind of jazz we our next trip may still be in rex but mm -hmm. i'm hoping by the time we get into the fall that this will be the tow vehicle from then on out Right. And it's going to be different. The other nice surprise was the mileage. We were told it had about 5,000 more miles. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's even newer yeah, than... Yeah, this thing is 5,000 miles newer than we were thinking it was. Mm -hmm. And we were happy with the the mileage figure we were quoted. I think right. we were told it was going to have 17,000. 17, 17, and it's only got 12. So <laughs> yes. I'd have been tickled pink with 17 for a five year, almost five-year-old vehicle. And it looks like they may have driven it to church or the proverbial little old something. lady that drove it to church every uh, Sunday and that was it because I'm telling you I don't know who had this thing but they sure didn't drive it yeah it's immaculate <laughs> no, you'll be seeing a lot more of it Have we what? have I mentioned this is a very large truck uh, a couple times yeah 